Hi, and welcome to Becoming Less, an Edmontonian journey to less waste, less impact, less consumption, and less clutter. Becoming Less is brought to you by Waste Free Edmonton, and together we're dedicated to waste reduction efforts, both big and small. I'm Biz. I'm Emily. And today we are going to talk about pumpkins. Because it's October and yes. pumpkins are part of, well, most people's lives, I would assume, at least in <laughs> our area. It's fall, <laughs> it's fall season, pumpkin season, baby. It's pumpkin Definitely. season. <laughs> so we sort of lightly touched on this during October last year, but today we're actually going to have an entire episode just about pumpkins and all the things that they are good for and what you can do with them and what you can do when you're done with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And why you should be stoked on pumpkins. Mm, pumpkins. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so yeah. first of all, before we get started, though, I do want to say we have another Patreon supporter. So Trev is now supporting us on Patreon. So thank oh. you to Trev for supporting us. Yeah. Shout out to Trev. And so he also, after our budgeting episode, wanted to suggest newcash.org which is g-n-u cash Ooh, okay and ledger-cli.org as options for budgeting software oh interesting so more options for people to check out thank you for that yeah awesome thanks trev that's fantastic hey back to pumpkins okay yeah let's get into it biz you love pumpkins like you i know that you talked about this a lot last year and it was kind of Biz's idea to do an entire episode just on pumpkins. It's like the one thing that I refuse to give up because we're not going to have a Halloween party this year. We're not going to be... This is the first time in my entire life I will not be dressing up for Halloween. Oh my goodness. Well, you can still dress up. And even sit if you're at not... home and drink. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, dressing up is part of the fun but yeah if if you guys are new here um biz is super into halloween like so into like next level like hey, biz when did you decide what you were well i guess you're not dressing up this year but had you already put thought into your halloween costume yeah i was gonna be the white rabbit from alice in wonderland <laughs> yeah it's uh it's Octo like it's still a month away <laughs> really <laughs> Like, <laughs> but, well, I, and I came up with this. I actually came up with this later than I normally would. I came up with this in August because there was a, a Alice in Wonderland themed costume contest at mm. the Recycling Council of Alberta conference. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I was going to be that, that, but. So that's where you got your inspiration. Okay. That's where I Anyways, got my inspiration. But yeah. Usually I have my costume picked out around May, June because that's how long it takes for me to make it. Yeah, Biz is always appalled, like, last year when she's like, oh, what are you going to be for Halloween on, like, I don't know, October, like, 10th or something? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> she was like, what? I remember that <laughs> last year. I was like, you don't know what you're going to dress up. Yeah, like, she was, she was, like, personally upset. And I was like, I don't know. I'll just, like, figure something out. Like, <laughs> And you did. And it was fine. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I just didn't sleep for a week after that. This is funny. Yeah. Biz was just stressed out. She's like, well, should we like talk about what you're going to be for Halloween? I'm like, no, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, it's fine. I will get over the fact that I am not dressing up, but I am refusing to give up pumpkins. So even though they will just sit on our porch and will not do anything for anybody except me, they will be carved and they will be eaten. And Yeah. And they will do a lot. So yeah, you can use them as decoration. Like actually, I am planning on going and getting some pumpkins um, to like, yeah, have as my Halloween decoration. I'm excited to like put them on my steps because now I have steps <laughs> <laughs> because I don't live in an apartment anymore. So I actually like, oh yeah, I need to make my house look like someone lives here. <laughs> so I'm very excited for pumpkins. Now, carving is pretty traditional in my world. But if you want to be able to use the flesh of the pumpkin to eat it, you don't want mm -hmm. to carve it. Because really, after you carve it, it's got like a two hour lifespan, probably longer than that. But I would say safely two hours before you don't want to just eat that flesh that's been exposed to the air for that long. Why? Because it's like, like oxidized or something? Yeah, I mean, it's probably fine. But I mean, most people probably want their carved pumpkin to sit out at least on Halloween. So even if they carved it that afternoon, it's going to sit there probably all night before they do something with it in the morning. And to me, that's mm -hmm. just that's not food safe. If you do that, if you if you already do that, 
that that's on you. I am not suggesting that at all. What I am suggesting is if you want to use them as decorations, they're already pretty Halloween-y without being carved at all. But you yeah. could always like decorate the outside without carving it. Ooh, or like, yeah, just grab a marker or something. If you yeah, want to do that. Because when you I'm cook- honestly, yeah, the, depending on how I'm I have a pretty full schedule, so I don't know how much pumpkin carving time i'm gonna get in um this This is a priority and it will be put into my (laughs) schedule to make sure it happens yeah so like i'm actually just gonna put like pumpkins on my step just because they look nice and just as like also because i'm gonna eat them and stuff yeah yeah are you gonna get Mm -hmm. like the cool warded green ones and stuff no i'm just gonna get regular pumpkins i didn't even know that you could get other ones like gourds you mean well there's different kinds of pumpkins they're not all the perfectly round, bright orange ones that you get for carving at Halloween. Right. There are more Yeah, I'm kinds. not going to like seek out pumpkins, to be honest. I'm just going to like look what's available. Just go find random pumpkins. <laughs> farmers, farmers market pumpkins. There are farmers market pumpkins. You can get your pumpkins oh, very locally yeah, as yeah, well. Oh, yeah, you can. Mm-hmm. There is, I don't know if you've ever been to the, what is it called? The something center? I don't know. It's a big, fancy building. And hmm. a couple of years ago, I went there with my sister and they had way more different kinds of pumpkins than I knew existed. Some of them were enormous. Like there were flat pumpkins and there were white pumpkins and there were green pumpkins and there were red pumpkins and there were warty pumpkins. I've seen like was- giant pumpkins. Like I knew people who like grew giant pumpkins and like that kind of stuff. That's like a thing in Alberta too. So like even just like having punk- contests. different <laughs> kinds of pumpkins would probably add to that decor look without carving into them which makes them not very good to eat right 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 which brings me okay, to the next so, point yeah what's your next point so the next point is you can eat the pumpkin when you're done with it as a decoration and pumpkin is actually like so easy to prepare it really is actually it's so easy to prepare like literally all you really have to do is scrape out the seeds cut it into chunks and like bake it that's pretty much all you have to do yep if you cut it in half then bake it then you can scoop out the flesh and it's already Mm. soft and mushy yeah you can do it that way you can can it and save it for later yeah or freeze it once you've cooked it yeah yeah i i really like doing that i find pumpkin um like obviously it's kind of like a fall food and i find it very like I don't know, comforting and like, you know, you think of pumpkin pie and stuff like that. So I usually like throw, I'll make like one or two pumpkins and then I'll just have pumpkin kind of in my freezer and like take out a container and add it to like my oatmeal or like make a pie or like do something like that. But it freezes really well. And because it's already like that mushy consistency, it doesn't like get weird in the freezer or anything like that. So yeah, it's it's already goopy and Mm -hmm. weird. So yeah, it already that being has, like, said, that goopy texture, yeah. I'm actually not a fan of pumpkin pie. I don't like it. But I do Whoa. like pumpkin bread. <sighs> like pumpkin loaf. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. Pumpkin and, loaf. Or like pumpkin muffins. Yeah, I can't exactly. I you don't like pumpkin pie. I, I think it's just the, I don't know, Consistency. The it's not your thing. Me. I don't know what it is because I love pumpkin spice. Like, give me all the pumpkin spice lattes. Yes, I'm that basic. Mm-hmm. I don't even care what you say. Pumpkin <laughs> oh. spice latte. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny because I, I feel like in our duo, people would assume that I would be really into pumpkin spice. Because you're more basic but than I'm me? I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's true. Like in, in pretty much every other category, I feel like I'm more basic, but not with pumpkin spice. It's not my thing. Mm, not my jam. I have like one a year and I'm like, oh, that's why I don't order that. Ugh. I've only had one so far. No, I've had two. That's a lie. I've had two. I had one from a local cafe and one from it's Starbucks. Like, it was it. It's like just fall. That's <laughs> it, <laughs> yeah. But because they only just started taking cups again, so mm. yeah. So you only started having lattes. Yes. So okay. I've only started being able to take. Get, I haven't had lattes in like a year and a half. Okay, it's been yeah, a long time. I, it's been a I long did year. have someone ask me the other day. They're like, I was like, yeah, can I get a um. I was getting like a maple latte and they were like, oh, do you want like a maple spice latte? It's like, it's our fall what? thing. And I was like, absolutely not. <laughs> what even is a maple spice latte? Is it just pumpkin spice with maple? Uh, Yeah, I think so. Mm. It was at... That sounds um, delicious. It was at Where did Transcend. you get this I wanted in my life? It was at Transcend. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to totally try that. I'm gonna go yeah. Out. And they take reusable mugs. So 
Anyway, back to real pumpkins. <laughs> back to real pumpkins. So when you scoop out all the guts in a pumpkin, mm-hmm. you don't need to throw that away either. No, you can also eat that. So you can eat the seeds, which every year I do two batches. I do like a savory, salty one, which is like seasoned salt or Okay, like so Mrs. what do you Dash do? Do you, do you like toss them in oil or do you just yeah. like spread yeah, them so, like what yeah and then do you just like lightly season them because okay so i'm asking specifically because last year i made pumpkin seeds and i like excuse my language but i burnt the shit out of them like honestly <laughs> it was bad oh, you probably had them on too high of a heat right and like i don't You're know sort of more like long. i don't know hydrating them but anyway yeah i cooked them on a fairly low heat for a yeah i long time scorched till they're crispy. I scorched those babies and like so literally sad. it was like, oh, well, okay, never mind. <laughs> we need a moment of silence for Emily's scorched pumpkin yeah, seeds. Yeah, so hopefully this year I can pull it together and because I actually do really like pumpkin seeds. Like they're really tasty to snack yeah. on, especially I like a, so you make a savory one too? I do a savory one and then I do a sweet one. Okay, so what's the sweet one? Explain that. So, so usually it's cinnamon sugar. Okay. So basically pumpkin spice pumpkin be- seeds. <laughs> cinnamon really nutmeg. into the pumpkin spice okay maybe right. i'll stick with the salty one but okay so what so so you take them out and then sometimes there's like the little stringy things right so or like and you can cook that too okay you can just cook that too and like do you, you can toss turn that it? into soup would be my highest recommendation I do love pumpkin soup squash soup pumpkin soup mm, so delicious good. So, okay yes. so what kind of oil do you use what kind of oil do i use my pumpkin seeds yeah, like so you take them, so you like carve usually out olive oil pumpkin and then olive oil and then just like lightly see like salt or sugar, whatever you're into. Yeah, so you and rinse then, them off, you you separate okay. the seeds out as best you can, then you rinse uh-huh. them in a colander to get okay. all the goops off, and then Okay, you, I also didn't rinse the, them last year. The leftover goopy bits. And uh-huh. then you pat them as dry as you can with like a tea towel. Ooh, okay. Mm-hmm. And then you do like a light and just kind of like smear them around each other with some with some olive oil mm-hmm. and then yeah lightly like mrs dash or seasoned salt something like that yeah yeah delicious okay and then do you just spread them on a baking sheet spread them on a baking sheet you don't want them like piled on each other but like if they're a little bit yeah, like a single not the layer. End of the world, they should be sort of like one layer okay yeah. okay every time like, i bring for how the long? sweet ones okay what's the heat and for how long <laughs> Uh, I need specifics. I will get back to you on that. And I will totally post that in the notes. But right now I don't okay. have it in front of me. Because I'm like, this is important so that Emily doesn't burn her house down. Because <laughs> <laughs> last year was not good. <laughs> yeah, it's very do disappointing. That. That sounds terrible. Every time I bring the sweet ones to like a party or something, everyone's like, mm-hmm. sweet pumpkin seeds. Ew, who does that? And then they try yeah, them and of- they're like... Oh, this is actually really good. I wasn't like everyone's always interesting. Shocked. Yeah, because I was like that kind of threw me for a loop. I'm like, you do savory and sweet, and I'm like, mm-hmm. hmm, okay. But like the pumpkin spice thing, I kind of get it. I kind of get it now. Okay, yeah. Maybe I'll try them because I do love like obviously I love sugar, um, but also <laughs> cinnamon. Like big cinnamon sugar girl. Yeah. So maybe I don't know. We'll see. I guess. I guess we'll see. Yeah. Time so will what tell. Else, I'll what try else them. We do? Oh. Yeah, I guess that covers our seeds and our guts and our flesh. Mm-hmm. There's also carving, which is great fun. But of course, you kind of so like, are you are you like a hardcore carver? Like, do you have one of those like pumpkin carving toolkits and stuff, or do you just use a knife like a normal person? I do not have one of those kits. Although the last few years we've gone to someone's house that has had them so i've had them at my disposal i do Mm -hmm. tend to do very intricate things i'm the kind of person who does like designs on the back of the pumpkin so that it shines the the image and light up the wall (laughs) that kind of thing i'm like a triangle eyes and (laughs) uh like square mouth kind of gal like (laughs) i might have to post some images of some of my previous ones i did uh the federation symbol from star trek like oh the logo goodness. okay from, uh-huh <laughs> which if anyone knows anything about star trek is not a very simple design there's a lot of uh-huh. little stars and like a wreath that goes up the side i did that oh one my year goodness. okay <laughs> uh-huh that's amazing yeah i um i'm not gonna lie mine are like jagged teeth like usually 
I like to have the teeth the same length as whatever knife I'm using. I find them better, <laughs> like width. That's usually about my my intricacy. Maybe this year I'll try a little bit harder. Are you also one of those people who can like do the different shading? Like they have like different depths yeah, that they yeah, like absolutely. carve to. Where you carve like halfway <gasps> oh through the gosh. you carve halfway through the um the flesh Whoa. so that it glows yeah. like a medium. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's wild. Yeah, we're gonna have to post some photos because like they're <laughs> yeah, probably I will, I will so go back nice. and see if I can find some old photos because Well this year we'll post uh yeah like Biz's and also probably mine just just to like keep it real you know oh well, now you're challenging me and do something crazy no. well i don't even know if i'm gonna carve mine to be honest so it might just be a picture of a pumpkin just a, just a plain but well that's the thing yeah. is this year i wasn't going to actually carve one because i wanted to be able to eat the whole thing okay and not waste it but right so that's sort of like the, the direction I'm going with pumpkins, because mm-hmm. although yeah. if you if you're gonna carve it, you could like stab pencils all over it so that it's got little shiny holes all over in some sort of fancy spiral pattern or something. Okay. Like, rather than okay, so like, what's what's the point of that? It's more like a lantern than an image. Oh, okay. Stabs it with pencils and then takes the pencils out. Oh yeah, yeah in order just to make the hole. Oh, okay. Like I a was pencil like... size hole. <laughs> Oh, 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 okay, yeah. I, all right. I was like, she just stabs it with pencils and then like, like what? <laughs> no, no, okay, I'm this glad is like, I've seen some fancy spirals and stuff. Oh, okay. And then you could just like cut that layer out is what you're thinking and then cook the rest of it. Well, yeah, I'm thinking I'm just not going to puncture the skin. So whatever I do for decoration, mm. I'm going to do on the outside so that the hard outer shell is not remains intact yeah it remains intact to protect the flesh so that it's still good for cooking right that's my goal okay. this year i'm gonna do something interesting yeah mm-hmm. although now cool, that you've cool. challenged me to something really intricate i might carve one you pumpkin. know what biz i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen <laughs> <laughs> um i'm also gonna be writing like finals right before halloween so yeah, I'm not gonna, I wouldn't hold your breath and uh, wait for what I'm gonna come up with. So you don't need to sleep on that. This is fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I think, I think I'm gonna prioritize sleep over carving my pumpkins Damn. personally, okay, especially fine, because fine. now that you're saying that that ruins eating them, I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I suppose it's just like a food to... safe thing. Yeah. yeah, just as a food safe it. thing, I wouldn't carve it and then like, cook it the next day it's probably a bad idea interesting bad idea. okay hmm hmm yeah okay. well what else what else do you do with pumpkins okay we talked about soup oh my gosh so i love pumpkin soup or like butternut squash soup or like all of those things yeah and like that's totally what i love to use pumpkin for it's so good it's so easy just to like add in anything pumpkin's also apparently really good for dogs it's a good laxative for dogs and cats Oh, I thought it was like good for their digestion, like not to like make them make them go to the Makes bathroom. Them oh, interesting. Okay, well, never mind. It's basically <laughs> just very, very full of fiber. It mm, also makes you okay. poop. You know, it's it's no different for us. It's fine. Right. Okay. But if you have an animal that has issues, sometimes if you want to like take the flesh out and cook it and then freeze it, you can just like add a tablespoon of the pumpkin, the cooked pumpkin, to their dish. And they yeah, love that's it. what I've seen. I have yeah, that's not what met I've a cat before. or a dog that doesn't like pumpkin. Yeah, because it's like it. I think pumpkin's like pretty sugary on its own, right? Like it's a pretty like it's pretty sugary, yep. tasty, yeah, sweet fruit. So like, who wouldn't like it? Yeah. Also, like pumpkin pancakes. I don't know if you've ever made those. Delicious. Another thing, actually, that I like to do with pumpkin is put it in smoothies, which I know sounds a little bit weird. Actually, you'd probably be really into like a pumpkin spice smoothie. Yeah, that's also very popular. Not quite my jam, but uh, it's I've good. never tried it. I um, I, like I do like smoothies, but I feel like I'm kind of picky about smoothies. So I, it it could go either way. That's fair. It could that's go fair. either way. Interesting. Okay, so what are some other things? Is there anything else that you can think of? I mean, I'm gonna use my pumpkins for decoration, and then yeah, I mean, if I if I do carve them, I mean, my worms will be really happy. They've been pretty. What's the word that I want to use? 
hungry <laughs> um, <laughs> because we got our like now we're on the city food scraps cart. And so I kind of wanted to just like check it out and see how it was. And of course, because I eat meat, that's also nice. So I've been using my food scraps cart like for the last couple weeks. And so I've been neglecting my worms. <gasps> so, um, well, yeah, now, now I'm just like making sure to put meat and dairy and stuff in my, in my food scraps bin and then I'll give that to my worms for the next little while. But if they got like a pumpkin, they would be so happy. They would probably be very, very happy. Yeah. <laughs> they would be very happy worms. Very happy. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if you do end up carving your pumpkin, or if you're wondering what to do with the outer part of the shell and the stem, mm-hmm. compost. I mean, we kind of talked about worms, but compost school in, in Edmonton here in the past has had pumpkin mm-hmm. smashes. Oh, I'm, oh my goodness. Okay. And the pumpkin smashes are really fun. Like, I don't so think it's fun. happening this year, which is if you're listening in Probably real time. Probably not because of COVID, I'm um, guessing. But if you're listening from Future Land 2021, it's not a thing. But maybe next year, whenever you're listening, it will be a thing. So look forward to that. Or maybe look forward yeah. to some sort of composting event that's happening in your local area. And pumpkins, I will say, okay, so this is just to like plug the pumpkin smashing event because yeah, if they don't have it this year, hopefully this maybe just like puts it on people's radars for years to come. But basically what you do is you bring your carved pumpkin with like, and it's a whole family friendly event. Um, I volunteered at it last year or the, the year before, sorry. And it is so fun. Like you literally just go and they have contraptions and like catapults and swings and like hammers and like just all of these different ways to smash your pumpkins. So if you bring the whole family down, it's so fun because basically your kids or you like I am don't have I think any there children. There was like but... a basketball hoop. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah. a basketball hoop. Yeah, it's ridiculous Honestly, it's so and amazing. Fun. So you just like get to make this huge mess and they basically make this giant pumpkin pile, like giant pumpkin pile with like, I don't even want to, I don't even know how many pumpkins, like hundreds of pumpkins. And then um, it's super cool because they'll usually post uh, like post updates on it through the year. So obviously I think it happens like the weekend after Halloween, like they time, they try and time it very strategically so that like you have your pumpkins on hand and they're not like getting gross and you know like rotting and stuff um so they do it like immediately after halloween so that your pumpkins are still fresh and then yeah they have this huge pile of pumpkin and it's really cool because they'll post updates throughout the year so okay so from you know november 1st or whenever the pumpkin smash is you can see how small the pile gets by spring and um yeah it makes really great compost and it's just like a super cool super cool event that the city of edmonton does and it is too bad that they're not doing it this year but I can appreciate because of COVID, obviously they want to take extra precautions, but if you ever have the opportunity to go to a pumpkin smash, like, or like, you can maybe go. organize something fun like this in your like community for smaller groups or with your close friends and family. Yeah. It's just so as, like fun. a fun thing to do. Yeah. Like why not smash your pumpkins? It's yeah. It's super great afternoon. So yeah. Pumpkin smashing is fantastic. Yeah, last time I <laughs> went to compost school, Rodney picked up a stem that he's like, oh, mm. this is a stem from the pumpkin smash. And then like the yeah. stem, like it still looked like a stem when he picked it up, but then it like crumbled into dust in his hand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. It was cool. <laughs> well, and, and it's crazy how over like five months and over the winter, because you would think like, oh, well, the, the pumpkins, like the big pile of pumpkin, it'll just like freeze and then it'll thaw and it'll be like gross and rotting and whatever. But it's it's not like it's it's so interesting to see what happens to it and the volume change is also just like mind-blowing so yeah it's kind of a cool thing that they usually like share a lot of online so it's like super worthwhile um yeah just super fun it might not be happening this year at compo school but who knows that like if you're listening from outside of edmonton maybe there's something in your local area that's happening because i know not everyone is shut down like we are here and yeah (laughs) yeah maybe you're from a different province where Everyone. Or a different country, like who knows, right? Yeah, yeah, very true, very true. Who knows what's going on there? So check in to see what people are doing with their pumpkins over in your neighborhood. Absolutely. 
Anything else to add about pumpkins? Uh, yeah, I don't really have anything else to add at this point, really. So should we just get into wine, cheese, and dessert? Are you ready to go? I am. Okay, okay. you go. <laughs> yeah, okay. So now that we're talking, I'm like, oh, I have more wine, cheese, and dessert than I had originally thought, which is very exciting. <laughs> okay, so my wine, I guess, I guess my wine for right for this week is maybe you guys have heard us talk about loop. And so <gasps> I am so I just want loop to be accessible in Edmonton. Because <laughs> it would make my life so easy. Right now, it's I think it's just being piloted in Canada in Toronto. Mm-hmm. And anyways, sometimes I just like go on the loop website and like dream about the day when I can like get things that I enjoy in reusable containers that are the responsibility of the producer, not the consumer. Anyways, so <laughs> uh, yeah, anyways, I that's kind of my like wine of the week is that I'm like, oh, I just I just want there to be a super easy, accessible way for me to get things in reusable containers and that I don't have to do like a ton of extra work all the time. You know, anyways, that's just my thing. And hop around to 18 different locations. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just yeah can't, definitely. Can't someone just try to make this easier on us? We're trying so hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm like, that's definitely, that's my wine for the week. Um, My dessert. Okay, so I have, I guess I have a couple of desserts. Well, first of all, I had someone that started, wanted to start a worm bin in their classroom. Um, Like one of my friends that had taken their education degree and we kind of been co-workers in the past. And she's like, yeah, I really want to start a worm bin. So she's like, do you have worms? And I was like, do I have worms? <laughs> um, So that was pretty sweet. I got to share some of my worms um, with someone. And yeah, I'm just like stoked about that. It felt good to like have someone start a new worm compost for my little babies. Um, (laughs) yeah. And then the other, yeah. And then my other dessert is actually, okay. So we moved into the neighborhood and now, um, like slowly we're kind of starting to meet our neighbors, but actually just before, um, we started recording, one of my neighbors came over and they were like, Oh, here's like, they actually gave us a pumpkin pie. Oh, like welcome to the neighborhood with um, pumpkin pie and whipped cream. And I was like, this is so nice. And they just brought it over in like a glass dish and like a Tupperware container. And they're like, oh, yeah, like just get it back to us whenever. And so I really, really love this idea of like, like, it's just so nice to see that, you know, they didn't like go out and buy a single use tray or like a container or whatever. They were like, oh, yeah, like, here it is in a dish and you can just bring it back to us. Like they're only a few doors down. So I was super excited about that. And as someone who I love, yeah, this idea of like sharing food and like bringing food over for people. Like I have a friend who just had surgery. um, And so that's actually one thing that this week that I want to do, I'm going to like make a casserole and stuff. And I'm like, oh, actually I should just like, I don't, I have a couple of casserole dishes so I can just like give her one and she can, you know, get it back to me whenever because I have another one. So it's not the end of the world. So I'm super into the idea of like, yeah, sharing dishes and like sharing food, but in a sustainable way. So that's, that's my dessert. And then my cheese, I have like so many pumpkin jokes. (laughs) So many pumpkin jokes. Don't steal mine because I liked it. Okay. 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 What's a pumpkin's favorite sport? Oh, I probably know the answer, but I'll let you say it. Squash. Yeah. <laughs> I hope that wasn't yours. It was um, not. No. Okay. Well, good. That's it for me this week. What about you, Biz? Okay. So my wine is that I was really stoked to go to the Recycling Council of Alberta's conference. Yeah. At the end of September. But unfortunately, I made the decision that it's just not the best idea to travel. So I'm not not a great time. Not getting yes. To go. Yeah, that's fair. They're not doing anything on like virtually or online. All I heard is that they a lot of the speakers were going to be virtual. So I oh. don't know, maybe. But I yeah, mean, I wonder if you can access it online. Maybe. That would be I, will help have to look I was that. also super excited for you. I know I was very to excited to go to that. I was excited. Yeah, cuz that would be like so interesting and informative. 
Anyways, I was like so excited to see your reaction to it. Yeah. Well, I'll try to go next year. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's that's very fair. I feel like that's probably a good decision. Yeah. With our current COVID fourth wave things going on. <laughs> so, yeah. Bummer. 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 Okay, it's what's your bummer. dessert? Uh, yeah. So, my dessert is basically that it is October and that means pumpkin spice and pumpkin. <laughs> pumpkin spice everything? Pumpkins everything. Mm-mm-mm, pumpkins. So, that's yeah. yeah i feel like i get sick of pumpkin like pretty quick or like pumpkin flavored things i should say Ugh, also like pumpkin candles. yeah i have never Ugh. experienced this phenomenon i don't of getting sick of pumpkin spice stuff or pumpkins <laughs> yeah no bring on all the pumpkin it's fine okay do you like the smell of pumpkin like of pumpkin like candles and stuff like i'm sure that you're well, not really into that i do yeah i, I have zero candles Ooh. Yeah, I haven't had candles for like uh, about fourteen years. When I got Tannis, <laughs> my cat. No, no, no. He... But like, do you, would you, would you like enjoy that scent? I'm very, just genuinely curious. And the thing is, I find that I find scented candles to smell really fake. Yeah, no, they're awful. Um... Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like no, the but scent I mean, that like, comes from it. I've oh, never yeah. experienced okay. a scent coming from a candle to smell like a real that cookie you enjoy, or like a real oh. right, like. It always smells okay. really fake and and like chemically. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I do. I'm not, also it's not, not a big the same person. as smelling <laughs> cookies baking in your oven or like a pumpkin pie baking in the oven. Totally yeah, I had it. Not the same. So I grew up with a dad who was like extreme. It seems like he was just like extremely sensitive to scent. Um, so now literally, like I would wear like a perfumey deodorant when I was like twelve, and he would be like what what's that stench like he would just lose it (laughs) and he he would be like oh like that smells terrible um so like i never had anything smelly growing up like not like not smelly anything like everything was like non-scented because you dad like would make a stink about it (laughs) oh anyway so now i feel like because of that now like i'm really sensitive to smells but i'm not like i have a terrible sense of smell but i'm really sensitive yeah to those like artificial smells i don't know i just i don't find it appealing at all it smells yeah colognes and candles and stuff it's it's not my thing i'm like sometimes it can be nice but like more often than not it's a lot so not my thing i don't know yeah yeah okay okay my cheese Uh uh-huh what did george Strait say to the pumpkin what I'm here for a gourd time. <laughs> Not a long time. <laughs> a gourd time. I'm I do like that. I'm here for a gourd time. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Amazing. Okay. That wraps up pumpkins. That wraps up pumpkins. Oh my goodness. A nice, short, and sweet episode where we didn't go on and on and on. Oh, what a treat. We stayed on topic pretty much the whole time. What? Amazing. That never happened. <laughs> It never happens. Okay, so thank you guys all so much for listening. We would love to hear your feedback as always. So don't be afraid to send us an email at becominglesspod at gmail.com. You can also find us at becominglesspod on Instagram, where we're the most active in our social media. Or go to wastefree.ca slash becominglesspod for all the ways to connect and listen. Or to donate to support waste reduction efforts here in Edmonton, Alberta. You can also do that on Patreon, but you know, it's all there on wastefree.ca slash becoming less pod. Yes. Amazing. I also want to give a shout out to change toothpaste tabs, uh, who are amazing and who sponsor the podcast and basically allow biz and I to, um, you know, not have to have to pay out of our own pockets, the expenses of producing a podcast. So thank you so much to change toothpaste tabs. Both Biz and I actually use these toothpaste tabs and they actually work really well and they actually foam. So if you are looking... It feels like you're using real toothpaste and not like grainy baking soda. Not like the baking soda ones. The grainy, salty tasting. Yeah. It's actually really Honestly, I struggled getting through my baking soda ones. I really did. Because I ended up getting changed toothpaste ones. Like I can't remember. I got a... Um, I was just trying them out and then I was like at the store and I knew that I was going to get some. Anyways, so I had these baking soda tabs that I had just been like, okay, I'll like use these up like alongside my 
change toothpaste <laughs> tabs and I would just like avoid them. Like I mix them together and I would just avoid them in the container like every single time. <laughs> but I finally used them up. It was such a struggle. But the but change toothpaste tabs, I definitely don't feel that way. I don't like avoid using them. They actually no. just work really Which well. Which is part of the reason that we enjoy having this partnership because it's something we actually use and love. 100%. Absolutely. And hey, if you do check us out on Instagram, we are doing a giveaway with eco check so if you share our instagram posts and comment and share with a friend tag your friends you can be entered to win the gift certificate to eco chick for whatever she has which includes jack 59 and includes routine deodorant and all sorts of things including cleaners and shampoo and, and yeah all that stuff. and change toothpaste tabs <laughs> so check that out share like comment tag do it okay well anyways okay. <laughs> um enough of that <laughs> thanks for listening everyone hope to have you back next time and remember every day we can be a little less than we were yesterday goulash.org that doesn't sound right <laughs> i think that auto corrected on me <laughs>
goulash. Oh, 